Well, now we know why John Penasini was not at practice. Hello, everyone. My name is Derek, and welcome back to Detroit Lions Syndicate. You already know what we do on this channel. We talk all things Detroit Lions, so make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, join the syndicate, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of all my videos. This is not really breaking news, but I wanted to use this really cool graphic right here that I have been unable to use on this channel so far. Defensive tackle six-round pick John Penasini decides to retire after two years in the National Football League. Now, Penasini is coming from what would wind up being Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia's last NFL draft, the same draft that we took Jeff Okuda in as well. Penasini was not in Allen Park on Tuesday, and remember, he was the only Detroit Lion excused from activities. When asked about him, Dan Campbell said that they had had a conversation and that he was good to go. Well, turns out he decided that he was going to retire after just a short two-year career. He went to his Instagram early this morning to let everyone know. Coming from his Instagram, I have made the decision to retire from football. I am definitely going to miss my teammates and the coaching staff, but I'm glad I got to experience it. I'm happy and excited for whatever life has for me. For my family, friends, teammates, coaches, and all the people who supported my dream along the way, I appreciate and love you guys. Go Lions, hashtag one pride. Ironically, the very same day that Penasini was asked about by the local media, Jermaine Walker decided to retire that day. He was an undrafted rookie free agent. So now that's two Detroit Lions players in the same week who decided to hang it up. Even though Penasini didn't say why he retired from the National Football League, it is a fair assessment to say that it had something to do with maybe the calcium deposits that were forming on his shoulder. He had surgery last offseason to remove those deposits. You know, it's tough to see when a person works pretty much their entire life to achieve a goal like getting into the National Football League. And for Walker and Penasini, uh, you get there and then after a little while, you decide you don't want to do it anymore. And in Walker's case, he didn't even take the field. So no reason as to why he did it as well. Although Dan Campbell supports the decision for both of these guys to retire, he said something Tuesday when it came to talking to Walker that I'm sure he uttered those same sentiments when it came to Penasini. Here's what Dan Campbell had to say to Walker, and I'm sure he would say it to any other player as well when considering retirement. When counseling players who are considering retirement, Campbell said he asked them to consider two questions. What are their plans after football? And Five years from now, when you look back on this moment, are you going to regret it? You just try to get them to ponder it as much as possible. And really, that's really ultimately for me what I want to know they've done. They've really thought about it and tried to at least look out and they've got a plan. They're able to know they're about to make a decision that they can walk away from and never look back on. So that's part of it. Everybody's. It hits a little different and different times for us on that standpoint. It's better that it happened now than later. Penasini will end his career with 49 tackles and one sack. Whatever he decides to do and why ever he hung it up, I hope that he's at peace with his decision. This is not our first go-round when it comes to Detroit Lions retiring. Barry Sanders was unexpected and abrupt. Calvin Johnson, you kind of knew it was coming. Uh, he had alluded to the year before he retired that he was thinking about hanging it up, and it was just time. Because of the two retirements this week, the Detroit Lions have currently two roster spots available and whatever John Penasini decides to do at the young age of 25 I wish him nothing but the best my name is Derek this is Detroit Lions Syndicate again had to get you this breaking news although it's not so breaking love the graphic and I finally got to use it on this channel all my returning viewers I appreciate you you keep the content moving the new viewers as well if you like what you see subscribe to the YouTube channel we have 92 days until the Lions take the field you guys are awesome take care of yourself and as always, go Lions.